Greetings, this is Guz, and today this is Escape from Kerbin. Uh, this is a career series with an advanced start that is focused on the Kerbal Space Program, uh, focusing on research and technology for the eventuality that they may have to escape from Kerbin. Everyone. Well, as much as can be done feasibly, anyway. Um, here's some quick clips on some of the star starting things I've added for myself and just kind of going, beginning with. And, uh... Yeah, so the goal of the series is going to be to research different techs, not just in the tech tree of KSP, but but also some, some methods and technologies and builds um, in-game, actually conducting missions, that will allow us to escape Kerbin, build proper habitats, and, um, you know, actually be able to survive in space should something befall Kerbin that wouldn't allow, you know, disallow living. Um, I have a couple couple main research goals. Um, some of the things we, we're going to test out are communications, uh, communication systems to maintain infrastructure in space, as well as uh, resource and slash waste management, uh, which becomes interesting in space. Uh, efficient space transportation, being able to do straight space transportation, as well as from any orbital bodies from their surface if we decide to go that route. And potentially even artificial gravity. Uh, maintaining builds that have artificial gravity in them. And we won't necessarily have them necessarily spinning all the time, but, but acting as if they would be doing what they're supposed to be doing in that way. Um, so those are some of the kind of things we'll be going. Here you'll see, at 8 times speed, I'm building my first rocket. Uh, I called it the Hercules Lifter. Uh, however, I changed it to the, uh, the, the Athena craft because this is actually going to be my first science vessel. And it's going to complete the four first career things you're supposed to do with, you know, whose last thing is orbit. Um, after that, you'll notice all kinds of interesting missions will be going on. I have a mod installed called, uh, uh, what is it? Fine Print. And it adds a ton of new missions and things, and I'll be delighted to work with those for, for different opportunities. Um, also, we're using science. We're using a, a, a policy that takes 30% of my funds and puts them into science points, which is great. It's an extra boost to science. Um, our technological limitations need to be traversed as quickly as possible to allow us to do actual field research as to what in the heck we're going to do if we got to leave the planet. Um, and I'm starting this series because I find it interesting. It's actually an interesting topic for, for the real world, um, for, for our planet, in that it's been explored, it's being explored constantly because the idea that we could destroy our planet through war, through just devastating environmental damage through um, other means. Uh, we could also, our planet could also be inadvertently made un uninhabitable uh, via extraplanetary means. So here's the launch, and I'll be skipping through parts of it and only slowing down for, for some of the major parts, you know, turns and things like that. And then as we go in the series, I'll be speeding things up, because if you've seen the launch, you've seen the launch. Um, I've also made it a custom difficulty. I cannot quick load. I can quick save, but it's irrelevant because um, I can't quick load. Uh, I also can't restart missions, so everything I do is done. Um, so this is going to be a tough series, but it's going to be fun. So here we are. SRB separation looks good on our uh, science vessel. Um, this design ended up actually really well. Uh, I, I think it turned out quite well. Uh, some of the mods I'm using, as I said, I'm using fine print. I'm also using Kerbal Engineer, mostly just for the build stages. I, I primarily won't be using it for flight, yeah, for flight statistics, though I may at some point. Um, and here you'll see a weakness in this design, by the way. Thrust to weight ratio is a little, little poor for this, for this current, for the second stage here after SRBs. But, but it's enough. It's, it's plenty. You know, it's enough to get us where we gotta go. And uh, the other mod I'm using is Remote Tech, uh, just because I like pain. I don't know. Um, it's fun. I love remote tech. It, it's just I, I'm not super great at it yet. I get it. I just, I'm not super experienced. So you'll see some mess ups with that. And they'll just be glorious because I can't restart and I have to live with every purchase I make. Uh, so here we're beginning to uh, uh, finish our orbit, circularize it. Uh, this, this is primarily a science mission uh, to, to gather information about space. It's, this game is great when you can put some context to the sandbox because all this research and stuff isn't simply just for 
pure exploration, which can be fun, but if you've done it, like most of us have a lot, um, it could be interesting to add something else. And so the Escape from Kerbin idea actually becomes really interesting because not only am I just learning and exploring these things, I'm doing it for another purpose, not just for our human cu Kerbal curiosity. Uh, I'm doing it for the the need for for the eventuality that we may need to leave this this bastion our home um so yeah here we go i'm just uh doing some research in space uh deciding that most of this research i'm just going to keep on board for the return trip and some of it i will be uh some of it i'll be beaming back to headquarters uh once once we can um and that'll be things like crew reports and evas that uh that get us the full full bit of that here we are on a very weak EVA. Uh, it's our first EVA in KSP uh, history, at least in this current iteration. So th we didn't do anything too crazy. I didn't want to have any issues. Um, <laughs> I didn't lose my first Kerbal and Craft on the first mission, so I kept it really safe. Um, so here we are. We're outside of transmission range. And I'm taking a risk here. I'm realizing we have a lot of fuel left. So I'd like to go out to a higher orbit and see if there's any difference between... Uh, observations of our materials and goo in um, this orbit versus higher orbit. And also maybe crew and EVA reports from these times as well, since I can't transmit. Right now, just um, increasing our apoapsis out to a little past 300 kilometers. And uh, I'm going to be using a multi, a mixed style with the series. I'm going to be cutting in some parts, and then moving faster in some parts. Up until this point, by the way, I'm like, I was thinking to myself, why is remote tech not working? Why don't I have a connection? Well, it just so happens that um, I wasn't in line of sight of KSC. I figured it out at this point, smacked my forehead, and continued on. Uh, did some more research, transmitted, did some transmission. Um, kept my power going, my, my solar sails on the front, did, did a great job. Another little weak EVA report, just to see conditions outside at this point. And uh, another transmission. And uh, having done all that, having garnered as much research as we're going to get, we start to close everything up and uh, prepare for our descent back to Kerbin. Um, again, every portion of the mission is going to be critical, as it should be in, in these space missions, because I, I can't quick load and I cannot... Uh, I can't restart the mission. Everything that gets done gets done. So, um, here we're preparing for our final descent, and it's important that during this, I make sure that I get us as close to KSC as possible, because the farther you are away in this iteration of the game, uh, the less funds you receive for recovering your, your, um, your craft. This probably goes into, uh, wear and tear after taking so long to recover, and the cost of recovery itself. Um, I don't know how realistic those are, but... Uh, I'm going to go with them and accept them as a game mechanic. That I, that I think is good, and it keeps me challenged. So here we're entering the atmosphere, and I'm keeping the stages on just to uh, just to pretty much just use the fuel. I mean, I got it. It's going to explode on impact anyway, so I'm not getting the funds from it. I might as well use it. Um, I don't have deadly re-entry on. I would like an actual... I don't want a mod for that. I would like the game to actually have it, I think. They should already have the tools in game to make it work. It just hasn't been done. So I probably won't put something like that in here until it's available. So in the meantime, I, I try to go with it as much as possible. But what would be real? But at the same time, I'm, I'm not going to kill myself over it. And I'm just erring on the side of what I need, ultimately. So yeah, mission thus far has gone very smooth. And we're, we're just trying to get re-entry. And I'm trying to, to have all this fuel and thrust. I'm trying to get as optimal of a... Uh, return as possible and get as close back to KSC as possible. Jebediah is the astronaut on the first mission. And he's doing a fantastic job. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm really just shooting it up trial and error style. Release of that to our final stages. There are still two stages left. The main lander stage, uh, the re you know, return stage. Uh, and the stage that was meant to be sort of the orbital mechanic stage, but I had so much fuel. I just built a big rocket. Something to note for next time. We don't want to add as much as we had this time. Um, okay, and we're, you know, you can see the former stages plummeting toward the, uh, toward Kerbin. And I think that looks great. I think it looks awesome to, to watch like that. And here we are experiencing re-entry effects. The heat's building up on the craft, and we're, we're entering all right. 
No issues. And I slowed it down just to kind of view this a little more. I mean, I really, <laughs> I like viewing some of these effects. Um, <clears throat> 15,000 meters dropping. And uh, I'm trying to point the heavier end in the direction of travel. Because that's the end, uh, experiencing the resistance. And I have the fuel so and thrust, so I say, why not just use it to our advantage? We're, we're going to try to slow this down to save as much as possible. Because, because if there's any part of this lower stage I can't save, that's funds for me. That's just more funds for me. So, um, here we are. Uh, less than 1,500 meters. And we're coming down, and I know uh, we're, the altitude here is a little higher. So, at least of the surface. So I need to be careful about when I'm landing. Alright, drop the stage. Not going to survive. And our biggest issue yet. All this equipment I've been trying to save. And I attach the parachutes too low. And our heavy end is now the top end. Not considered on design. Jebediah is fighting furiously to, to rectify this. And push it to one side or another. It's not looking too good. Come on. And it's at this point I come to the, the realization that this is how we're going to land, and we're praying, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so, coming down. Oh, and there we are. I don't know how it survived, but it looks like every piece survived. Jebediah is just <laughs> grinning from ear to ear the whole time. Uh, quite lucky. <laughs> There's no reason any of those solar panels or anything should have survived that top portion. But hey, all of our experiments are well. Ultimately, I'm not going to be um, picking up surface samples and things for the most part, just outside of KSC, but any missions where I end, I'm just going to sneak them in real quick. So Jebediah gets out and then realizes he can't even get back in his thing for recovery. But happy to have returned. Does a celebratory jump. And uh, that's pretty much it. I checked the log to make sure there was no damage, and sure enough, the re-entry stage, the, the lander stage was just fine. No, no damage. Congrats, Jeb, you lucky SOB. <laughs> so we do the recovery and we check on our science. Uh, we got a lot of science from uh, from our contracts and a little bit from the mission itself, which we'll take. We got some reputation as well. Excellent. We're going to need every bit of it because any, any issues we might have, we really need to garner public support for... We need to garner public support for this project. Otherwise the funds will stop. So I just recover the vessel and um, uh, review this real quick. And we had a little more science on board and the funds we got back were pretty good. Um, about as good as we were going to get uh, without landing on top of KSC. 93% value of the things that recovered and all those parts that should have been destroyed recovered. Um, so great. Successful mission. I hope you enjoyed this and we're going to do some more um, in the next episode. We're probably going to be trying to put up some communication satellites. Um, until then, this is uh, Guz. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.